Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. Um, first and foremost, I would like to know why am I speaking with you again when yesterday I asked you specifically if I could speak to your supervisor, and I did call Jeff. Jeff Weiss. Mm -hmm. Weiss, who you gave me his number, and I left him a voicemail um, indicating that I would like to either speak with him over the phone, I gave him my phone number, or email, or text message, and he has not replied, so... I, I can't speak for somebody else. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I do know that um, I'm the branch manager in the GM for this area, and um, you work for Wayland, yes, but you're also my employee, and again, like I mentioned yesterday, we like to try to have open communication since you work for us, so that, I don't know why. Okay. Would you say it's true or false that okay, yesterday... I'm not on a witness stand here. We're, we're here to talk about your employment. Do you right. want to stay employed But I want us? to address my rights first. Am I... I'm not here to address that. I'm here to address your employment with us first and foremost. So your rights Actually, is not having to do with me. You're, we're not my rights do have about, everything to do with you. No, right now we're talking about your position with us. Do you want to talk about your position with us? I do. Can After we do that first? I address my rights as an okay. individual and employee first and foremost... Okay, I don't see how that's relevant, but go ahead. I just want to know why did you not let me record yesterday when I said it was federal law and you said it was state law that you had the right not to let me record? No, I did not say that. I said I have the right to not speak if I don't want to speak. You said it was state law. Okay, I don't remember saying that, but it is state or federal law, whatever. I don't have to talk if I don't want to talk. That is an accurate statement. Do I have the same right? Sure. So do I not have to talk if I don't want to talk and still be employed? Um, probably not. Why not? Because we, in order for you to be employed with us, we have to be able to communicate the policies and expectations to you and ensure that you understand them before we put them on a job site. If we cannot discuss that with you, then why would we go and put you on a job site if you're not agreeing to those policies and procedures? We have to know that you understand those. In order to do that, you have to speak with me. But I did come yesterday you to did come, come to speak. Yesterday. Yes, but you wouldn't speak to me. Why? Um, actually, it wasn't set up that you were going to speak with me. I know you were led to believe that, but that was before Laura and Trace had told me why you wanted to speak with me, and I actually agreed with them. I mean, agreed with you, and said, you know what? No, if he doesn't want to accept this lower-paying job at 40 hours full time, he doesn't have to. We need to keep him as an SRO. And so that is why, when you came here yesterday, they were going to address those issues with you. I wasn't, I wasn't here to talk with you yesterday, nor was I prepared to talk with you yesterday. Okay, according to my documents, on Wednesday the 31st of August 2016, mm -hmm. when I spoke with Trace and Laura, they told me to come back the next day to speak with Gina. Is correct. that correct? Correct. Oh, I can tell you they told me that. Yeah. Then when I came, why, didn't, why wasn't I given the right to speak to you? You were given the right to speak to me. I just was not prepared to speak with you at the time. Then why was I pulled out of my duties if you weren't prepared to speak with me? Because it wasn't going to be me that was going to be speaking with you. It was going to be our HR manager and this client service manager. Then how come the previous day I was instructed mm -hmm. by Trace and Laura to come back the next day to leave my duties at 2 mm -hmm. o'clock to speak with you. Okay. Again, I wasn't there for that conversation. I don't know if they directly said that or if it was implied, but originally you were going to be speaking with me, but once they had had the problem resolved, they wanted to continue the conversation with you. He is your first direct supervisor and then me, so I was going to have them handle the situation. I didn't need to be there for that conversation once we had come to an agreement that we were going to honor what you had asked. So there was no reason for me to be involved in that, in that conversation. Okay. Did you not want to speak with me because I wanted to record the conversation? No. I, as I said yesterday, I wasn't prepared to talk with you yesterday. Then On why record. was I summoned to the office? I, I, just, I just answered that question for you. Do you have another question for me? I actually do. Okay. What is that question? Okay. Who is your supervisor? Jeff Weiss. He's the Director of Human Resources. Okay. Okay. I don't know why he didn't call you back today. You can call him again and ask him. Okay. May I speak with him instead of you? Do I have that right? I don't know, but I am over the branch, and you, if you need to speak with me about, this, about your position with us. But because I feel I'm the one that enforces. 
I'm the one that enforces the policies and procedures. He is in another state. He cannot, he cannot manage or help you from another state. So I prefer that you speak with me. I feel uncomfortable speaking with you, and I would like to speak with a representative of Waylon. Okay. That okay. is not you who has the authority to suspend me from my work duties or to reinstate me on my work duties because you did suspend me on my work duties. And then I desuspended you earlier on our phone conversation because you, I only suspended you because you were scheduled for a shift. That shift is now passed and you are not on the schedule, therefore you are no longer suspended as I stated on the phone with you today. So what was the reason for my suspension? So we can discuss the matter at hand, which is to make sure you understand the policies and procedures before I put you back out on site. And I do understand the policies and procedures, but why was I removed from the job okay. site? You weren't removed from the job site. You were asked to come to the office to speak to us first. Why was I removed from City Hall and not other city you're contract being, you're sites? Not, you're not removed from City Hall. Who told you you were removed from City Hall? I was told by Trace and Laura that a client didn't feel comfortable and I wasn't supposed to go back to City Hall, but I can do other sites, right? We never removed you from City Hall. Yeah. We discussed an opportunity to move you from the SRO position to, Waller. to the Waller position. Full time. But it wasn't because we were removing you from a site. It was because, based on the conversation that had proceeded, we had determined that the Waller full-time position would better would be would represent a better overall fit for you within the organization at that time. And why would the Waller position represent a better fit for me? You may recall, Mr. Wynn, that I'm not the one who originally discussed that with you. That was Laura obviously is the human resources manager. Uh, I'm not here to speak with her, unfortunately. I speak for her, rather, unfortunately. Okay. So my question is, let's just, let's just make this. I would like to know, <clears throat> are you wanting to talk with me today about your further employment with Waylon? Actually, I just wanted to ask Trace another question, if I may. Sure. Would you say I fulfilled all my duties as a flex officer? He's not going to answer that question. Could Trace have the right to speak for himself? Sure. I do have a right to speak for myself. I think we're pursuing a path of conversation that isn't productive, so I'm going to opt to not answer that question. I'd like to steer the conversation back to the appropriate course. Okay. So, are you ready to discuss the policies and procedures that, need, that you need to have going forward in order to fulfill our sites? Are you willing to do that with me right now? Would you say, Gina, that I Yes or no. Fulfilled? Please answer your question first, please. And then, I answered your questions. Will you please answer mine first? What was your answer to my question just before this question, Trace? Which question was that, sir? You have the right to say that, too. If you do not wish to speak to me, then you tell me right now, and this, there's no reason I why we should be sitting here. I have told you yesterday and today that I do not feel comfortable speaking with you. Okay. Okay. So if you cannot speak with me about policies and procedures and what to move forward, then I cannot schedule you, and I'm the one that is in charge of that. Okay. So, okay, if you don't so speak I've to asked, me about your duties... So I've asked duties, to speak to your supervisor okay. so because you can, I and disagree. You can, and you can speak to him. Okay. But my supervisor, I don't have... My supervisor is HR director at corporate. I don't have one here locally. Okay, then so. I, it is an open-door policy, and I have the right to speak to that Correct. person. Correct. An open-door policy says you, you have the right to speak with somebody. Yeah. Okay. With that person. So you, you are unwilling to speak to me at this time. Because correct? you make me feel uncomfortable, okay. please... Please, you make me feel uncomfortable. Please, oh okay. please. Okay, then, then you are more than welcome to speak to Jeff Weiss, but with, because of your unwillingness to speak with me, then I have no choice that the company says that I can accept that as a resignation, and um, you are no longer welcome back in this office. So I would ask you to leave, please, at this point, and you can direct all your questions and speak with Jeff Weiss, since you choose not to speak with me because you feel uncomfortable. No. So I would like to ask you to leave, please. I spoke with you yesterday, but you did not want to speak with me, and you summoned me here, but yet you to Again. told me to go home after I came to speak with you. Yeah, I didn't well. summon you. You wouldn't make an appointment with me. So you I did yesterday. Now. I left work early. And you still didn't speak with me, even though I was told to come here to speak with you. Anyways, thank you, Mr. Fu. Thank you. So am I terminated from Wayland? Because of your refusal to speak with me about your job duties, 
then I'm accepting that as your resignation, and you are no yes, you are but no well welcome. I'm You're not no longer welcome. But back I'm not to our comfortable office. speaking with you. I want to speak with somebody else who's again, higher up. You can speak with Jeff Weiss. I gave him your number. Go call him, please, and deal with him. But why am I terminated? Why are you talking to me if you're so uncomfortable talking? Why am I terminated? Because I want to speak to somebody else. That's not why else. you're being terminated. And you're not terminated. I said, I'm accepting your resignation. I'm not resigning. I don't want to Please quit. Leave. I want to work for Please Waylon. Leave. 